Welcome to Friday's Financial Fitness. Today, we're going to talk about the final way that almost anyone who has a retirement account is able to put money into a Roth IRA account. This final way is called a Roth conversion. A Roth conversion refers to the transfer of an individual retirement account, either traditional or a simple IRA, or even a SEP IRA into a Roth IRA. By converting money from an IRA to a Roth, you pay tax on the amount that is converted in that calendar year. One of the many benefits retirees have in converting money from IRA to a Roth IRA is the retiree is not obligated to take the required minimum distribution at 72 in the Roth account. With all of the market volatility we've seen this year, taking advantage of a downturn in the market may make even more sense to convert money from an IRA to a Roth IRA. For example, suppose you have an IRA account that is worth $500,000 and three months later, due to the downturn in the market, it's only worth $400,000. By converting when the account is worth $400,000, you would pay tax on the $400,000 and not the $500,000 value that the account was worth a few months earlier. Also, if you have a traditional IRA and your income is down due to a temporary layoff or you have business income that is down, it may make sense to convert some of your IRA at a lower tax bracket. Lastly, with tax rates potentially going higher in the future, converting an IRA to a Roth IRA at today's tax rates may save you from paying taxes at a much higher rate down the road. Over the last three weeks, we've covered a lot of ground with contributing to a traditional Roth IRA. Then we discussed the employer-sponsored 401k Roth accounts. And then today, we discussed taking existing IRAs and converting them over to Roth IRAs. While I'm a big proponent of reducing future tax liability with the use of Roth IRAs, Remember, it's important to consult with your accountant to help determine what your potential tax liability may be when using a Roth IRA.